Have you subscribed to my channel, you PB? Do it. Do it. Danny, what's up? Ready to get you some uh, laundro mats. Laundro, I hope so. Laundro Long mats. Time coming. I got a list here that you put in the document. Alvin, Texas. Yep. Um, hold on, I'm logging in right now. So you got his number from a database that you have access to, and you're pretty sure that this is the guy, but. Yeah, I, no, I called uh, and acted as like a Comcast guy that was doing repairs in the area, and uh, he said he owned the building. What's his name? He didn't tell me his name. I didn't get it. <laughs> I know. Sorry. Well, you silly bastard. You got a telephone number for a guy that owns the building. But I've muddled through worse. This place has really, really, really got old ass equipment in it. So yeah. do we think the awesome. landlord also operates the business? That is correct. We do. We think he's both the same entity. Yeah, I believe he's the uh, same entity. Off we go. Stand by. Now's your chance to sub. Have you done it yet? Don't miss the lives. Don't miss the action. Please leave your message for seven nine zero four zero. Let me input his number in my uh, phone. All right. I'm going to put a bunch of question marks because I don't know his name. Then I'm going to link it back to you. And you've heard this before. My little trick is to call twice because auto dialers and salespeople in India don't call twice. I do. Here we go. Did you subscribe yet? Thumbs up if you did. Find out who this guy is. Hello. Hello. I am looking at some space... Here in Alvin, Texas, sir, I wanted to talk lease terms with you. I'm sorry, I'm not selling that. Uh, You're not sell, I'm not looking to buy anything. I'm looking to lease some space from you. Oh, you want lease? Uh, yeah, I want to uh, sign a long-term lease and give you a rent check. Okay, uh, what, what, what you going to do? I'm gonna uh, run. I'm gonna run another successful coin laundromat. That is what I do. Oh, laundromat. Oh, okay. I don't think it's uh, because I have the laundromat already. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm calling, my friend, because you already have a laundromat there. That's the space I'm interested in leasing. Oh, you want to see some? Oh, okay, because this is my wife going to take care of it as well for right now. But uh, uh, maybe, maybe I don't know when, but uh, I got your phone right here. When I change my mind, we'll call you. All right. So I've got an, All I've right. got Thank an, you. Well, ho ho hold on, hold on. We've been on the telephone okay. for okay. less than a, pardon me? I'm offering, Hello. hi, I'm offering okay. you $300,000 in future rent and you're hustling me off the phone. Why? Did you say your wife's? Pregnant in the hospital? I missed something. 
Why are you trying to hustle me off the phone? Let's let's have a five minute uh, conversation, shall we? You operate in uh, you you run the laundromat, right? You're running the laundromat and you own the building. Yes, sir. Okay, my name's Danny. I I you, okay, you don't, Danny. Danny, you don't need to to call me, sir. So, uh, if you're making three thousand, four thousand, thirty thousand dollars a month in that laundromat, keep it, keep running it. If you're not, yes, I'd like to offer a lease to you so that you can collect okay. rent. I'm going to retool okay. it. Listen, right. I'm not okay. I'm not a broker. I don't sell my laundromats. My partner and I are looking to become your guarantor, sign a lease, run uh, the run the okay. run yet another beautiful laundromat. I'm again not looking to stick you with mm. a subleasee or get out of this business. I'll do a 15 year term because I need to fill it with equipment and spend all of that money on proper washers and dryers. Look, I've been in the store, you realize, several times. I've walked oh, through the okay. store. I see you're out of order okay. equipment. I see your old hips, single stack tumblers. I see that the walls are painted putty, which is one of my favorite mm-hmm. colors. No offense. I'm not trying to hurt <laughs> your feelings. Okay. <laughs> Okay. If this anyway, laundromat, just thank it, you. L- listen, I'm not selling something. So when someone calls us and they want to sell newspapers, let's hustle them off the phone. I'm offering to sit down with you, sign a long-term lease. My partner's your guarantor. Spend, again, mm. depending on the size and the square footage, probably I will spend 300000 to a half million dollars on washers mm. and dryers. Mm. What is your first name? Mm. Uh, my, you call me, you know my name. I'm calling you because I found your number on a listing for the location. And I was trying to be cordial. Right. Is your name a secret? Uh, I can't tell you. Okay. You can't uh, tell me your right name. Now. Sir, are, are you actually right. the, do you own the building? I don't think you do. He hung up. Let's call him back. You got to help me out, dude. We'll talk about that in a minute, but we'll call him back and he won't answer. This is why you subscribe, people. What's the over under on scared man answering the phone? You know, it's, it's my fault. It really is. I went too quick to try to ask the guy his name. I've been accused of trying to get clicks and whip people into a frenzy or an argument. This is Texas. Please leave your message. Oh, my goodness. Let me leave a message. Hi. Yeah. Danny D'Angelo. Go ahead and write that down. $300,000 U.S., Write that down as well. I'm not sure. I don't blame you, sir. I don't blame you. Somebody calls me and starts offering me money. I get freaked out too. Give me a call. All right, Nick. Uh, look, I, I blame myself because I got, I, I got so excited to actually ask for this man's first name that he got scared. Is he legally in this country? I don't know. Am I making implications? No. Is he? Uh, he's a business. He's he's a, a business owner and a, and a landowner. But hey, far be it from me to call somebody up out of the blue and start asking questions. If you call me and say you're with my insurance company and you want me to verify information, get stuffed. Are you crazy? No way. So that's my fault, right? If people are critiquing this, but come on, I'm shopping for lettuce with my wife, and so I have to go. No. We're going to call this guy once a week, every week. But what I want you to do is take this contact telephone number and this address and do a deep dive and figure out who he is. All right. Okay. It was a typical yeah, he, call. Yeah, I called as a comp. Yeah. I want to lease the space. He says, I don't have any space of it. Well, for no, you do. I want to lease it. Uh, okay. That's what a landlord says. What type of business? He's thinking about empty space. I never mentioned the address, did I? No. So he's thinking about empty space somewhere in his portfolio, right? And I said, I want to own a laundromat. Then he said, ha, 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 we already have a laundromat. 
Now we know he only owns one strip center. We know that, right? You, you understand how we right. know that? Well, this is, this, this, yeah, right. Well, this is a uh, freestanding standalone building. Okay. Now we know he only owns one building because right. he wasn't thinking about somewhere else. What type of business, if I would have said, well, I'm with Dwayne Reed, I want to open or a Costco, which isn't, it's not large enough, or I'm with Walmart. We want to level it and put a Walmart super center in there. We're going to squeeze it to the edges of the property, right? That's why he said, mm -hmm. what type of business? I say laundromat. He said, oh, I already have one there that I'm running into the ground. Right. It's my fault because I asked for his name too quickly, but something's hinky here, isn't it? Something's not right here. <laughs> Find out his name, who he is. We have enough to go on here with a contact telephone number and a physical address to figure that stuff out. Then put that in the document, and we'll give this gentleman a call back. Thanks for the time. Yeah, you. Talk to you soon. All right. Ciao. No one, including me, is thinking that every single telephone call I make is going to be a home run. On a call like this, we're going through the processes that are necessary. My student in Texas scouts a horrific laundromat with old, dingy, nasty, filthy, disgusting equipment and poor operating procedures. Being closed on Tuesday. He puts it in front of me. We make a cold call. The guy says, I'm busy. I'm shopping with my wife. I have to go. Man, I'd do anything shopping with my wife to go get on a business call. Yeah, how can I help you? Let me go outside. Intrigue him. Make him understand that we want to build a better mousetrap. Talk about 300 grand, which a dollar a square foot and a 3,000 square foot facility is more than that. That's an appropriate and commensurate rate of rent for that space. I don't work magic. Obviously. Oh, Danny, why do you post all these fails? It's not a failure. That guy's speaking in whatever his first language is. God bless him to his wife while they're picking out their lettuce and telling her, I just got the weirdest call from a guy. I screwed up. I had the audacity and the gall to ask for his name. Hmm. I was careful. I first said, no, my name's Danny. Don't call me, sir. What's yours? You called me. You don't know my name. <sighs> Oof. In whatever language. That's a big slap. Like the channel. Subscribe. Click the thing. Get the course. If you want to own a laundromat, do it through me or do it at your peril. Are the cheap seats listening? No one should buy a laundromat because stores like this are available and all of that infra infrastructure will be free to you. Is it a pain in the neck? Sure. Losing $300,000, I think, is a bigger pain somewhere else. Don't do it.